So this is the greenhouse and here's our radishes and our collards and turnip, um, lettuce, chef's medley, market blend, kale, must. Hi guys, welcome back. We've had a few people asking us about our greenhouse, how we made it. Um, a lot of the things we already had here, the cattle panels and a bunch of the wood, but we're gonna go through how it was made, basic material list needed, if you were to start from scratch and had to go to lumber yard and get some of the supplies yourself. So we had some friends come and help us build ours. We used, like I said, we used a lot of materials that we already had here. Some of them we did have to purchase, but mostly it was just, we used, reused a whole lot of things that we already had, try to, cut down on cost so really you could probably do one of these yourself without it costing you very much but if you are starting from scratch we've kind of done the paperwork of how much it would take you what it would cost to go buy all of your supplies and all your materials to put one together so the greenhouse is seven foot wide by 12 foot long uh, the original design the way people usually build it the cattle panels go all the way to the ground and we framed it like that at first but it was going to bring the roof down quite a bit where you'd be where I would be ducking quite a bit inside here uh, and didn't really want that so I didn't want to make it any any narrower to make it taller so I'll show you in the pictures of the build uh, we don't have any video from when we built it it's got a lot of pictures but I'll show you we, we brought it up off the ground about another foot by adding posts in the corners uh, and then extended the plastic down it actually worked out pretty good because now we can open that plastic at the bottom when it gets really hot in here and it'll draft air in at the bottom and we've got the automatic vent window on the back and it pulls the cooler air in the bottom and lets the hot air out at the top so uh, it was more for comfort of walking in here but it turns out that it, it helps moderate temperature a little bit better too so uh, you might look at that uh, if you go to build yours that uh, yeah, I think it was going you know it was going to be down where I would be ducking and I'm just right at six foot so uh, it's a lot better like this but uh, uh, we did 12 foot long uh, just uh, kind of the space we had and what we want to do uh, and just use three cattle panels had to cut about six inches off of the height of one of the panels because uh, they're 50 inches a piece so to get to 144 um, you could keep going as long as you want and make it as as long or short as you want uh, but this was just about what we wanted right here we've always got the option to, to extend it if, if we decide to or easily build another one so I found an upside to feeling down when I took a good look around there's stuff to be learned but it to be turned it seems yes there is With a runaway self esteem. But let me tell you, you got to pay your dues before it's all cookies and cream.
can achieve That's something else Now what a fool believe You got to pay your dues Before it's all cookies and cream All right, so this is the spreadsheet I put together of approximately what it would cost to build this greenhouse. Now, like we said earlier, a lot of the materials we already had on hand, so we didn't have to go buy everything. But I just kind of walked around the greenhouse, made some notes of if I were to build one from scratch, roughly what would it take uh, on all the lumber and the hardware and the plastic cattle panels and everything. So this is not an exact materials list. Uh, this is just kind of a best guess uh, to include all of the shelving uh, the frames uh, around the door and the windows, uh, the, the lumber for the windows uh, and everything. Now the prices uh, are what they are right now in January of 2019. Uh, and I believe the prices of what we paid on the, the plastic, uh, the greenhouse plastic is basically about the same as when we bought it. Uh, it's not much more if it is. Uh, lumber, of course, goes up and down. Uh, the hardware should be uh, kind of the same uh, no matter when you get it. Now, this is for our area. We're in northeast Oklahoma. Uh, I'm even including the stores that I priced uh, for, for this spreadsheet. So uh, it could be more, could be less in your area, but this is just kind of a, an idea right here. So uh, you can see it takes four cattle panels. Uh, we use three to build the arches to the, the structure of the greenhouse itself and then cut down another one to put on the shelves. You don't have to use cattle panels for that. You could use some other wire. Uh, you know, we had two cattle panels and some friends uh, gave us uh, two more that they weren't using. So that's what we used. Uh, you could probably get by cheaper than that. Uh, but the cattle panels are solid. There's not a lot of cross bracing required. Um, the two by four by twelves for the length of it, uh, for the for the shelves. Um, two by we did two by six by twelves for the base of the structure uh, so that uh, it, it had a, plenty of surface area to staple to. Uh, the automatic window opener, uh, they're available online. It's the smaller of most of the ones. It's the 15 pound because uh, it's a pretty lightweight window. The pipe insulation is to protect the plastic where it goes over the ends of the greenhouse. And you can do whatever you want on hinges and handles and all that. So this is just an idea. A lot of people have asked, what would it cost to build one? Uh, and if I were to build one very similar to what we have right now and start from scratch, this is about it. So this does not include tax. This is just the, the price of the materials as they appear online. So just want to put this out there. And I appreciate you all uh, checking this out and asking for this video. And hopefully, if you decide to build one, uh, th this helps you out a little bit. There's there's a lot of videos out there on how to do it. This is just what we did. So uh, thanks a lot. And uh, y'all please come back and uh, check us out again. All right. So uh, thanks for watching our video. Uh, appreciate y'all checking out what we're doing. Uh, we appreciate the feedback and the request to do this video. Uh, it was kind of you know, one of the plans that we had to do eventually, but this just kind of brought it up to right now. So uh, we, we enjoyed doing it. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you would, please like and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, don't feel like we're telling you that you have to. Uh, we would just appreciate it if you would. So uh, if, if, if you feel like I'm pressuring you uh, and it offends you, which you're probably not watching. So, But if you are, you know who you are. But uh, we thank you anyways. And uh, please stick around and keep watching. So thanks a lot.